Hey everybody, it is Caleb. In this episode, we're going to talk about building a word WordPress blog. Stay tuned. So we are going to be hosting this website with Hostinger, who is the sponsor of this video. So they're running a sale right now and often have sales. What you can do is you can scroll through here and you can see the different web hosting options. Most popular here being premium shared hosting. This will get you set up with plenty of features, including a domain, which is a custom website URL. So for example, hostinger.com, calebcurry.com, whatever website name you like. So we'll go ahead with this option. And when you do this, you can save the most by going with a 48 month subscription and using the coupon code calebcurry, which will give you even more savings so you can see we're getting four years for one fifteen twenty, which is an incredible deal right now. So this is optimized for WordPress, and honestly, I really like WordPress. I do development stuff on this channel, but when it comes to actually content production, I think the simpler, the better. And WordPress is one of the simplest, pretty much anything you possibly need or want. There's a plugin out there or there's themes out there. So you can get a website up and running with very little effort and it's very easy to keep up with it. When you sign up for the hosting, it'll show up in the setup option, premium shared hosting, which you can then set up. And I'll ask you a few questions to figure out, you know, what is the best use for this website? Are you just wanting a simple WordPress? Are you looking to sell something? Or are you looking to install a different content management system, CMS? I'm gonna go with the simple WordPress option here. Go ahead and create a WordPress account and it'll give you some options for some basic themes to get started. You can scroll through here and there's pretty much a theme for whatever style of website you are hoping to have. And you know, there's general styles, whether you're looking to blog, looking to share photography, or if this is a portfolio website, whatever it might be, there's usually a theme out there that'll get you started. Now, generally when I'm doing this, I try not to be super picky as you can get something pretty good without much effort, but if you just wanna change a little things here and there and get a little bit more complicated. Yeah, you can do pretty much anything, but the more customizations, the more difficult it's going to be. So it just depends on how technical you are and how much time you wanna put into it. Let's check out this relationship coach style for database relationships, of course. This obviously has like a landing page style, maybe if you're trying to uh, sell a service, but it also has a little bit of a blog down here as well. So I guess we should probably think about what kind of website we wanna build for this video. And for what I'm thinking for this website, um, not too wild about this theme. I'm gonna check and see if I like any of the others better. Let's check out this one here. This one's pretty cool, especially if you were hoping to do a portfolio website. So maybe we'll go with this one and see what we can do. Yeah, let's go with this, select and continue. Claim a free domain. This is by far the hardest part. Now for this section here, the top level domain, there's a lot of different options here. In my opinion, I think .com is the most valuable. However, there are other options, .tech, I have a few of those, .space. There are also many others you can purchase, not from this claim a free domain section. So there's .io, which is really common for code related stuff, or .xyz is another popular one as well. It actually looks like they have .xyz here as well. I would recommend sticking with .com, .io, .xyz possibly, or .tech, unless you have a specific need for a different one. You know, if you're a nonprofit, then might, you might go with .org or something like that. So I already reserved a bunch of domain names related to me. So I wanted to go through the process of purchasing a new one. I started thinking of some ideas. I thought it'd be kind of cool to have one ending in .me, such as you should hire .me. However, that one is already taken, but based on the content of their website, if they're in any kind of development, I'm not so sure I would want to hire them. Um, but I just kind of went along with this idea and you can use register.com to get some variations of domain names, which is pretty helpful. And there's a lot of other tools out there. The only one I really trust is register.com and like a few other ones. I've actually heard of different tools that will basically listen for domains people are going to buy and then purchase them. Uh, but 
Register.com is pretty legit. So I'm just going to go with why I'm awesome. So that's a .me domain. And we'll just go with continue and finish setup. Next steps. Once you fill out that information, you will get to this page here. Hit continue. From here, you have the option to enable the Whois privacy, which will help protect your registration information. We'll go back to the home page. Hit manage. Go to the dashboard. And now we just have to wait for this for like forever. So we'll come back. All right, that didn't take as long as I expected. It set up to 48 hours and it's been about 10 minutes. So we're doing pretty good. We're going to edit website and this is going to bring you to the back end of WordPress where you can do all of your different stuff. So the biggest thing, you can go visit the website by clicking the name right there. It looks pretty good, except my name is not Jacob Smith. Uh, so yeah. That's it. I'm also not a professional video blogger. So let's look around. Let's go back to the dashboard here. There's a bunch of different stuff going on here. If you've never used WordPress, it can be a little bit overwhelming, but don't worry too much. I'm gonna go through the main things. First, appearance. Here is where you manage your themes. If you decide you do not like what you got, you can go ahead and add a different theme in here. You can also do any customizations. And here is where you can change all these different things. So you got the global stuff that's going to be across all your different pages. So that might be like your color scheme. Let's see what we can do inside of the header builder. So the site title and logo. This is the little logo they have there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a little JS, which shows up right there. Let's go ahead and change this logo upload a new file inside of Photoshop going to create a new document 250 by 250 hit create probably make some fancy vector graphic logo if you want but whatever this will do CC and we're going to get rid of that background so I'm going to increase the size of this and then I'll probably crop looks lovely export as for this we're going to go with png export and we will upload that on wordpress uh, skip cropping and there we go it's kind of a it's a, kind of a little big <laughs> maybe just bring this logo width down a bit it looks good perfect um for your tagline you don't want it to just be just another wordpress site Caleb's portfolio. Um, this might affect SEO or show up in search. We don't really want just a, something really basic. Um, Caleb's portfolio. Um, see all my coding projects. Yeah, I was going to go with projects. All right, so we got that done. Hire me. Much better. Primary menu. You can configure your menu here. Um, and we're looking at the primary menu. We can edit menu and here are all these buttons here. So more than likely this is like a web page where these don't actually go to different pages. Rather they just link down to the different sections. So we'll just think about what sections we want. About me is good. For vlog you could have my work. Maybe for gears, we can change this to my goals and get in touch. I think it's kind of redundant to hire me, so I'm just going to remove that altogether. Let's go ahead and save that for a moment so we'll publish. You can edit your homepage content by going to pages and then home edit. We're going to edit with Elementor actually. All right, this is exactly what I was looking for, where we can go in and change the text. So we'll put my name here, Caleb Curry. And I'm just going to fill out some basic information. Lovely. I think we can just right click, delete. Uh, perfect. Maybe here we could put like my favorite tools. 
Let's go through here and change some stuff. Alright, so I just put some information there. It's kind of simple, but nice to look at. Now what you can do is you can select this button down here in Navigator. That's going to bring up all of the different sections of your website. And you can click each one to jump to it and rearrange things. I think you get the idea. You can add photos in here with transparency, edit them however you like, and go all out with the customization. When you're done, you can hit update and preview that on the home page. So you can see it there. Now one thing I do want to take a look at is this message section. This is a WP form, so what we can do is we can exit back to the dashboard and I'll show you guys how to get to the forms. Right here you'll see WP forms, go all forms. You can see the simple contact form, which generally works really well. I've used this for many years. Um, one thing I noticed, you can see this subject section is defaulting to an email, which is not what we want. Pretty much what happens then is you start saying, we have a job for you. And it says, please enter a valid email address. So that's bad. So to change that, you can do that inside of the form editor. So we'll just replace it with single line text here. We'll drag that up here. Call this subject say it's required and then we can just get rid of the old subject we'll go ahead and save that additionally we will want to go into the advanced placeholder text we will say subject and basically we want to just copy the appearance here so we want to get this in here and we'll just check hide label all right save it now do a quick refresh yeah, it looks much better. Send message. Thanks for contacting us. We'll be in touch with you shortly. And you can see I got that email sent to me to the email I used to sign up here. Now, if you're testing this out and you use the same email for the test email, you might get a little warning. Be careful with this message. And that's just because it sent to my email, caleb at calebcurry.com, and it said it was from caleb at calebcurry.com. So Gmail is like oh it's confusing so just that's what that warning is from the other plugins you can find here this will allow you to expand on your site the first one i recommend akismet solid this will reduce spam drastically on your website elementor is the visual editor definitely needed for this situation looks like google analytics we'll go into the settings there check that out from within appearance menus, you can add a menu item for posts. So actually we'll do categories and that'll include many. So we'll just go with uncategorized or you could add a certain category. Add that to the menu. Save that menu. And then from here, you can see uncategorized. You can change that label, but that's going to show the blogs that you have. You can change that label from here, the title. So for example, you could write coding blogs or whatever you might want it to be. Save menu. And what you can do now is go into your posts. You see them both here. You can go in and edit. And uh, here is the title. And here is the content. This uses like a block type editor so each enter goes to a new block and different blocks have different types so you can add in an image quote a paragraph there's all kinds of different options here you can also add a code section so you could say print hello world very cool and then you could update that and that should show up on your website and this is what it's going to look like. So that's how you can easily put code on your website. So that is how you get started with WordPress inside of Hostinger. Blogging isn't exactly my specialty, but did want to get you guys started for those who are interested in starting a blog, whether that's for coding purposes or just personal use, whatever it might be. So there you have it. I do a few other WordPress videos on my channel if you're looking for more detailed instructions on how to do some of this stuff. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.